Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to share with you guys how to make two of the best salsas for your tacos. In case you guys want to how to make this super easy and delicious recipes, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need 3 Roma tomatoes, 5 tomatillos, 20 chile de arbol, 1 chile habanero, 2 garlic cloves, cilantro, and a small white onion. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so I'm going to be making both salsas at the same time. So on one side of the stove, I'm going to fry my three Roma tomatoes. And on the other side, we're going to bring to a boil our five tomatillos, our chile de arbol, and chile habanero. So just cover them with water. And now we're just going to bring them to a boil. And the Roma tomatoes, just make sure that they're fully roasted. All right, so once our Roma tomatoes are fully roasted, we're going to transfer them into a bowl. And add half a cup of water. And we're just going to wait for our tomatillos and chile de arbol come to a boil. All right, so once our chiles and tomatillos have come to a boil, we're going to turn it off and now we're going to drain the water. Okay, now we're just going to wait for them to cool down. All right guys, so once our tomatillos and chiles have cooled down, now we are ready to make our salsas. So we're going to begin by making the green salsa. So in the blender cup, we're going to transfer our tomatillos, our chile habanero, and five chile de arbol. Now of course, if you want your salsa to be more spicy, you can add another habanero and more chile de arbol, or if you don't want it to be that spicy, add less chile de arbol. Okay, so to that we're going to add one garlic clove, a small handful of cilantro, a small piece of onion, and one teaspoon of salt. So now we're just going to blend everything together until we have a smooth salsa. All right, so once we have our salsa, now we are ready to transfer into our bowl. So pour it in. All right, so of course now you want to try it for salt and see if it needs any. And if it does, go ahead and add it. For me, it's always perfect. So this is our green salsa. All right, so now to make a red salsa, we're going to add our three Roma tomatoes with the water and 15 chile de arbol. To that, we're going to add one garlic clove and one teaspoon of salt. And now we're just going to blend it until it's nice and smooth. All right, so once we have our salsa, now we're going to fry it. All right, so now we're going to grab a small frying pan. We're going to set it on medium heat and we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. So we're just going to wait for that to heat up. All right, so now once our oil is hot, we're going to add half of our onion. Just finely chop it. As well as chopped cilantro. And now we're just going to fry it for a couple minutes. All right, so after a couple minutes, we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of oregano. And now we're going to add our salsa. Okay, so reduce the heat to low. And now we're just going to bring it to a simmer. All right guys, and once your salsa comes to a simmer, now just let it simmer for about three to five minutes. All right guys, so after three minutes, our salsa is ready. So now just try it for salt and see if it needs any. And if it does, go ahead and add it. For me, it is perfect. So now my salsa is ready. So we're going to transfer into our bowl. Okay, so transfer your salsa. And of course you can enjoy it while it's hot or just allow it to cool down. All right, so now we have our two delicious salsas, so now we are ready to enjoy. All right, so I'm just going to enjoy my salsas with un taco de aguacate. So, like I say, these salsas are perfect with every taco. I'm going to add some queso fresco. Okay, so now I'm just going to grab my salsa roja. And 
Now both salsas are a little spicy, but like I say, you can always adjust the chile de arbol. So like that, it's not too spicy. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now I had a taco right here uh, with half green and half red, but of course if you mix them together, let me tell you that it's just delicious. But just, you know, for the taste test purpose, we're going to do it like that. So grab your taquito oy, and enjoy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, green one, the green one, it's so delicious. A little spicy, you can taste the habanero, the tomatillo, everything just perfect. If you do it like that, you guys, let me tell you that it is the best, the best green salsa. Um, for me, it is perfect. But of course, like I said, you can adjust it to your liking. So now for the red one. Mm. Mm -hmm. So delicious. Frying the cilantro and the onion is just the best. Hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much as I do. Because let me tell you, that this will be the only two salsas that you need for your tacos. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make two of my favorite salsas. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you recreate these recipes, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.